A lot of people just get money and then they get rid of it. I got money all in my eyes, eyes. money all in my line. line, money all in my mind, I look like money all in the time. What's up everybody, Henry Aaron Westbrook back again with another video. You know what to do, smash that subscribe button and tap that like button. A lot of people have been asking me how I spend my money. Back when I was 17, I was already working, right? At the age of 16, got my worker's permit, got straight into the workforce. Uh, I was always somebody who was really excited to get a job, really excited to start working, earning some extra money for myself, and starting to save up. I bought my first car at the age of 16 before I even had my driver's license. And money has always been important to me. At the age of 17 is when I, again, started taking money particularly very seriously. I got a safe. Safe, fitting safe, it ain't safe, fitting safe. Uh, that I used to keep under my bed. I used to stash all my money in there, all my cash and i used to take money very serious i used to count it every day i used to separate my 100s and 50s and 20s and 10s and 5s and singles all separately use coin rollers for my change and i was just always monitoring my money i had big big money goals you know you could say i still do have big money goals and i just remember that i decided that i would always have money. I just made the decision that, hey, I have this money right here. I think I had literally $700 at one point. I made the decision that I will have at least $700 for the rest of my life, right? Then you hit the age of 16, 17, and you start working, making your own money. Things get kind of different. My first job, I was working at a place called Frontier Field. It's in Rochester, New York, where the Rochester Red Wings play baseball. It's a minor league baseball team, a big baseball stadium where they do concerts and other events and I was in the concession stands literally getting paid $7.25 per hour completely overworked to have you doing pretty much all the dirty work from prepping food mopping floors setting up events and looking back at that job you know it was a great job I'm very grateful for it I had a lot of fun it's just so funny thinking about where I am now you know compared to where I was at 17 16 and 17 working my first job. And I just remember, you know, going from numerous jobs to job to job, you know, just to kind of bring you through it. I worked at Frontier Field again with a concession stand. I worked at my college in the Arts Center. I've worked for Wendy's doing DJing, photo booths. I've delivered pizzas, I've delivered food. I've worked at an amusement park, worked in an office writing articles. I worked at a Macy's, I worked at a sunglass hut. I've sold real estate, I've sold solar panels. I've done different affiliate marketing, I've sold things on the internet, I've done e-commerce, drop shipping, sold my own products. Anyways, throughout all that time, one thing has been constant. I've taken my money seriously. I don't spend money on things that I don't need or see true value in. Save your money so you can stack it up and invest it. I have a budget, use the Every Dollar app. Go check it out, it helps you budget your money. I carry cash, I only use credit cards for investments, and again, I only purchase things that I truly need and hold value in. Every once in a while, and it's within the budget, I'll splurge or do something fun with my money or waste my money. However, when you're on the track to become a millionaire, a multi-millionaire, a billionaire, when you're on the track for financial freedom, you don't want to just be blowing your money and wasting it on stupid materialistic things. Assets are what you want. You don't need to be blowing your money on liabilities. You don't want your money to disappearing. You want it to be accumulating. It takes a lot of discipline to save my money and not purchase this or purchase that. However, it's actually something that I've turned into a game and a way of life. Because the more control that I can take over my money and the more I'm able to better and manage my personal finances, the better my future will be. A lot of people get into financial problems with credit cards, debt, overspending, literally just wasting money on things that they really just don't need at all. So between you and me, 
I would recommend saving your money. A lot of people just get money and then they get rid of it. As soon as they get money, they get rid of it. It's not about the amount of money that you have. It's more about what you do with the money that you have. Obviously, you need to get money. And once you get that money, you need to be able to save that money, keep money coming in, and then use that money to invest into things that will make you more money. That's the secret that you need to know. So how do I spend my money? Very wisely and very strategically. I recommend you look at your checks and balances. If you have more liabilities than assets, meaning you have more expenses than investments, if you're just buying food and groceries and clothes and gas and spending money on your bills, and you're going to the concert and you're going here and you're going there and you're buying this for your girlfriend and you're doing all this spending into things that do not pay you back, that is money that you made and just threw away. Sure, it might have been a great experience. Sure, you might have got some temporary satisfaction out of it. However, that money is gone. What I do is make sure that I minimize my expenses. I minimize the amount of things that I put my money into that don't make me money. I also look for ways and places to spend my money, to invest my money, and to place my money, redistribute the money that I make so that it can make more money for me. So that I don't have to use my time and my labor to make money. I can just use the money that I've already made, put it somewhere, and let that make money for me while I do other things. I'll admit though, I am very giving and generous. So a lot of the money I make, I will give to other people if I feel as though it's worth it. Investing in relationships, investing in partnerships, after all my expenses, my needed expenses, my absolute must be paid for expenses are covered, I take the remaining money and find ways to reinvest it into my own business. I reinvest that money back into my own brands, back into my own campaigns. I reinvest that money into knowledge. I reinvest that money into courses. I reinvest that money into lectures. I reinvest that money into programs. I reinvest that money into books. I reinvest that money into education. I reinvest that money into services that will help me get to the next level. I reinvest that money into outsourced work so that I don't have to do things. I use my money in a way that excels me to the next level. I use my money in a way that propels me forward. I leverage my money. I'm very reserved with the way I spend. I only buy the things that I absolutely must and things that I feel have value. Other than that, I save my money. I put it places that I don't even see it. I reinvest it into myself. I give to the people and things that I see and deem worthy. My money gets circulated in a way that makes me more money. So I hope this video helps. The bottom line is minimize your expenses, maximize your assets. You want your money to make money for you. You don't want to be blowing your money so that you continue to have to go make more of it. You want to make money, save that money, invest that money in some ways that make you more money. So eventually you have so much money making you more money that you don't ever have to go make money again, baby. I'm Henry Aaron Westbrook. You know what to do. Smash that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please drop a like and comment below. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Be great.
How do I spend my money? 